see if how he pitches compared to the the Oklahoma starter or pitchers last night, all very fast workers. And right. That might be what they stress. Again, it keeps your defense on the toes by uh, coming to the plate quickly. So hands in the big right-hander. First pitch kind of low and away for a walk deep in there. He's backed up. His catcher is, is, is um, none other than Dominic Dorenzo. Dorenzo has played in 14 games, started six hitting 150. Christian Deaton up here, the sophomore uh, left fielder. And those last two pitches are both clocked at 94 according to the scoreboard. Yep. Outside and in for a strike. That one's 96, so you know, he's- so, yeah. uh, He's got some heat, obviously. Here is the two one pitch and that is gonna be hit to foul territory and left and designated hitter. Number 30, Dustin Fraley. One away here. Hunter Haley, who had a good name last night, easy easily ran that one down in foul territory. First well, he base had a couple of hits, had a couple of hits, two RBIs, right. stole two bases last night. Jeff, uh, at first base is Chris Andritzos for Oklahoma. At second base, Jack Flansburg. Third base is Kate Harris, and Sheldon Noisy is at short. We'll get the offense, so the defensive line lineups here in a second. In left field is Hunter Haley. Right field, we'll sketch back over there. Um, actually, they're DHing with Hunter Southland, so we'll have to get the, the uh, starter there. And in center field, it's Steele Walker. And that hit him. So I wish it was an 81 mile an hour changeup rather than a 95 mile an hour fastball wow. on the previous pitch. So Hanson hits Fraley and puts him on first. And that brings up Metzger. David Metzger who's hitting 333, starting 16 games. 10 runs scored, 15 RBI. Hanson, when he, I'm sorry, when Metzger is uh, hitting at his best, he's really good at going the other way. So against a hard thrower, wouldn't it be a bit surprised to see him get hits, right. you know, try to send the ball to right field. He remember last night he tripled in the first inning when he had a low line drive that the right fielder lost in the sun and uh, easily got to third. So I would uh, expect that he'll probably be going to right field against a hard thrower like this. Right. Alex Wise playing in right field for Oklahoma. One man on, 0-1 is on the count. One out here in the bottom of the first. No score. The pitch from Hanson, low and away. Close pitch. Yep, one and one the count. That one was at 94 miles an hour. Kickoff play back to first. Trying to keep him on, gets that ball back over to number uh, 18, the first baseman, Chris Andritzos. So I'm gonna get that correct. Andritzos might be how he actually pronounces it. Big lead over there yep. at first. And high fly ball out of out of play, looks like on the right side. It'll be end up back over there in the bullpen area. Oh, looks like he hit a light. I think it might have hit the white pole. Hit, yeah, the light pole. So there they go. The wind is blowing from left to right, so uh, you know even that ball was going to be well out of play anyway. But it obviously got pushed even further out of play. Pretty good little breeze going to right field. That usually right. will die down by sundown. Crowd was uh, a little bit late arriving yesterday. Today they're here. Pretty good crowd here today for Friday. I think you'll see a few more people show up here. Still a lot of OU gear in the uh, in the stadium. Yeah, and there's no, I don't see Fraley running here. You remember, you had a groin strain from last Sunday, and they're going to really try to make sure he's 100% by next right. week when they open whack play at Seattle. So uh, even though he's got a nice lead over there. And up the middle, base hit. So a nice sing, hit, sharply hit single by Metzger. And that moves Fraley to second, so two men on as Carter comes, comes to bat. Head of the count, just basically fastball right down the middle of the plate and uh, Metzger right on it. Fouls it away. 
aggressive hitters tonight. They're not messing around. They're going after the pitches. Carter had a two-run single last night, uh, which pulled the runners even. Oklahoma had taken a 2-0 lead in the second inning. 0-1, 0-2 pitch now. Nice breaking ball there. Again, when you're throwing in the 90s and then you throw a changeup or curveball, and uh, the hitter's not looking for anything that hard or that soft, and uh, nice break right down the middle of the plate. Here's the pitch, fouled off again. Back out of play, so battling here, but down 0-2. And away from him, and that's gonna advance the runners. So a wild pitch there at 84 miles an hour, and the runners go to second and third here with one out in the bottom of the first and the little bit of tension here for Oklahoma here early on. Catcher didn't exactly uh, do a very good job. He tried to backhand it instead of throwing his body in front of it. Had no chance to knock it down when you do that. One, two pitch to Carter, runners on second and third. Slow breaking ball and not there, just misses. 78 miles an hour on that one. Must have been a little high because it was it was it was over the plate. Yeah. He's been showing good repertoire of pitches uh, <laughs> thus far. Right. Here's the pitch, and got him. Strike three called. Another yeah. sweeping curveball caught the outside corner at the knees. I'd have to agree with that. Beautiful pitch. I thought he had a strike on that changeup. Or that off-speed pitch. Yeah, it was very close. It was kind of almost too close to take. And, uh, you know, I kind of figured better not take another one that right. close. And uh, he did and uh, got rung up. So now it's up to Gusbeth with two out and runners on second and third. The runners had a, you know, scoring opportunity there. Could have got a run with an out. Awesome. Now they're going to have to get either a base hit or a mistake by OU. Yep. And that could have been it right there. Fastball. Uh, it was sort of an off-speed pitch that kind of ended up in the dirt. It looked a lot harder than it, than it ended up being. 82 miles an hour on the clock. 1-0 the count now to Gusbeth. So runners at second and third, Jeff. Two outs here in the bottom of the first. And hits it to the third baseman, and he's going to make that play, and that's going to end the threat here. So nicely played there by the third baseman, well, Mr. Uh, Cade Harris. So there we go.